Welcome to episode six of The Taranique Show. Today's episode, we will be discussing what no one tells you about going natural. There are a lot of things that happen in life and you know, sometimes you think these things are the greatest things ever. And when you're going through them, you realize that why doesn't anyone talk about this stuff? For example, um, when you're pregnant. So when you get pregnant and then after you have the baby, some women experience their feet growing, right? And so if you were wearing an eight, say your feet grew to eight and a half or nine, but no one talks about that. No one tells you this is, this is most likely gonna happen after you have a baby. Let me see. And there are other things that no one tells you, like no one tells you after you have a baby, the hormones that like have to release from your body, they may cause like breakouts, right? So you may have like, I think they call it a, a pregnancy mask where your body is releasing so many hormones. And I'm not a doctor, so don't quote me. Your body is releasing so many hormones that your face starts to break out. And then of course, there is the postpartum hair loss, the shedding. No one really talks about it, right? Where you seem to lose all of your edges and you're like, what is happening to me? But then after a couple months, I think by the time the baby is one year old, then your hair starts to go back. Um, the acne goes away, but I don't think your feet, your feet, if they grow, <laughs> they never go back. So, you know, it's a lot of stuff that women experience and no one talks about it. No one tells you. I don't know. Maybe the pregnancy example is because you're going through so many different things when you're pregnant. And then there's a pregnancy brain where you do not remember stuff. Maybe that's why no one tells you about it. But like pregnancy and like other examples of things that happen that no one tells you about. Oh, another good one. When you're buying a home. So when you're buying a home, no one tells you about like all the legal fees that you have to pay like at closing right people just talk about oh you buy a home you um put a down payment down and then you'll have a you know your mortgage your monthly mortgage payments but no one tells you about any lawyer fees that you're gonna have to pay to close the loan it's just little things like that so I'm here today to give you the real deal on what no one tells you when you go natural. Number one, your self image changes. So if you have been relaxed for most of your life or all of your life, you look, you will look different. Most people look different with relaxed hair and natural hair. So your self image, how you see yourself changes, right? So you'll have natural hair and all of a sudden you're thinking like, oh, I am so much more into my health or I'm so much more into self love or loving myself, how I naturally look. So you're the image around how you view yourself changes when you change from relaxed to natural. And isn't it so amazing that hair has this effect on us? Something as simple as hair. When we change the way our hair looks, when you wear red hair, so if you dye your hair red, people say they feel differently when their hair is red, right? You feel more fierce, you feel more like I can take over the world. and. When you dye your hair blonde, how do you feel? It's the same thing with natural hair, going from relaxed to natural. Or when you cut your hair, Coco Chanel once said, a woman who cuts her hair is about to change her life. The same thing with going from relaxed to natural, your whole self-image changed 
changes in how you feel about yourself changes. A second thing that no one tells you when you are going natural versus being relaxed is that your natural hair will defy gravity. <laughs> and when I say defy gravity, if you've done the big job and your hair is growing out and it's not as long and you know it's it's shorter, um, I think they, what do they call it? The TWA. So TWA means teeny weeny afro. The afro will stick up in the air instead of falling down, right? When you have relaxed hair, your hair falls down. So it falls, you can have a nice bang, it'll come down. When you have natural hair or newly natural, shorter hair, the hair does not fall, it sticks up. So that's a whole thing in itself, right? So you have to get used to your hair not falling but standing, which was hard for me to get used to because when I had relaxed hair, I always wore bangs because my mom was like, your forehead too big, you gotta cover your forehead. And I'm like, okay, all right. So every time I got a style, which I used to experiment with styles all the time, I am the girl who would change her hair every week. One week I'll have braids, the next week I'll have a, a straight weave the next week i'll have an updo style and you know i was just little miss you know what are what are we gonna expect now even when i worked um, i worked as a bank teller at a bank in the bahamas and the girls was always like when we did our end of year review and they would talk about you know how is how does this person keep themselves or present themselves my supervisor would always be like Terry always, we say fix. Fix means you take care of yourself or you look good. Terry is always fixed. I would always change up my hair, which is interesting because now that I have natural hair, I do not change my styles as much. I wear maybe three styles, but also I'm running a business and I am a mom. So I'm a bit more busier. Back then I was you know, younger, single, no kids. So I was able to just, it'd be about my hair and my nails and how I look. But now I'm a bit more busier, so I don't have the time to change it up so much. So yeah, natural hair will not, well, if your hair is longer, if it grows out, like how my hair is grown out now, um, it falls. And I wanted to stand up, and that's the crazy thing now. So if I do like a, a high puff, I want my hair to stand up, but it doesn't. It always falls down because it's, I guess, it's heavier now and it's, a, and it's longer now. So when you're starting to go natural and your hair is not as long, it defies gravity and it will stand up. So that's something that you have to get used to. Number three, relaxed hair is easier than natural hair. No one talks about this, but it is the truth. <laughs> natural hair requires a lot of work. You know, if you're deciding to go natural and you're like, oh, I'm so inspired by this girl, her hair looks so good. You know, I'm inspired. You need to bring your patience because natural hair is not as easy as relaxed hair when you have relaxed hair you go to the salon or you do it at home you know straightening and then you can take your hair and pull it in a ponytail you can flat iron it you can curl it you know and everything's pretty simple and easy and the fact that if you've had relaxed hair most of your life you already you already have a routine so you know okay I deep condition my hair, I straighten it. Um, this is the style I wear when, you know, I'm being lazy. This is the style I'm gonna wear when I'm going to an event, um, a black tie event, or this is the style that I'm gonna wear if I'm gonna go work out or to work. So you're already pre-programmed on kind of what you do with your hair. But when you are newly natural and you're, 
trying to figure out this new like hair texture it's gonna take some guesswork it's gonna take a lot of research it's gonna take some patience to get your your natural hair thing going on so relaxed hair would is a bit easier because you're new to the the natural hair game but after you have been natural for a while learned your hair learn what products work for your hair what styles you like then it becomes easier because you can plan better but in the beginning when you're transitioning from relaxed to natural or your big chop it's going to take some time to figure out how your kind of your natural hair rhythm so relaxed hair will seem easier and you will be tempted to slap some perm on your hair because you're like i'm done i don't know what to do you know women all the time they they send me messages or when they see me they say terry i am so frustrated i just want to slap some perm on this hair because i don't know what to do it's just it's too much work so just know that it will seem in the beginning that relaxed hair is easier than natural hair. Your hair, number number four, your hair will not come out like the, the tutorial. Yes, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I'm sorry, I love you, but I'm here to tell you that your favorite YouTube vlogger that has inspired you to go natural, your hair will not look like hers, unfortunately. And I am sorry to also say that your mom, if she's natural, your hair will most likely not look like hers either, or your sisters, or your cousins, or your best friend. Your natural hair, your hair is unique to you, right? So your hair will most likely not look like the person that you are so admiring, right? Unless you guys have this a similar hair texture. So you can do, you've heard it, you've heard it a thousand times online. Why does my hair not come out like the tutorial? Even if you go in your favorite, YouTube vloggers comments, you will see women saying, I did that and my hair didn't come out like that. It's just how it is. You look at, you know, your favorite natural hair vlogger for inspiration, but just understand that your results may not look like hers, okay? So this will save you a lot of heartache it would save you a lot of heartache to understand that I'm sorry, it will not look like the girl on Instagram. Your hair will look like how it's supposed to look, like how your, your genetics and the products you use and the technique and how your hair is feeling that day because, you know, natural hair has feelings. That's how it will come out. So I'm, I'm sorry. Number five, I believe I'm on number five. People will judge you because of your hair. Yes, sorry to say it. Listen, you've been relaxed all of your life. Everyone is so used to seeing you with relaxed hair. Now you've decided to embrace this natural hair journey. I am so sorry to tell you that you will be judged. When you're doing something different, it happens, people judge you. And unfortunately, some of those people may be your family members, maybe your friends. If not, then I am happy for you and that's great. But just know that people will judge you and that judgment will come with maybe you wanting to change up you know, from being being natural and go back to relax, or it may affect your self-esteem where you don't feel so cute in the beginning, 
But trust me, if you stick with it and you get in your rhythm of what styles and what products work good for you, you will be happy that you stick to it. And you have to think about why you started. The, the number one reason why people stick to anything, whether it be starting a new business or a workout or just getting more healthy, it has to be a reason that just keeps pulling you back. No matter what anyone says, you just go back to why have I started this journey? If you have started the natural hair journey so that you can be healthier, then focus on that. When the negative comments come, when the aunts at Thanksgiving say, girl, you just need to put some permanent on because I don't know what's happening to your hair. When your dad says, oh, what's happening? You know, why your hair looks so dry? Or when your mom is like, okay, you know that this is not cute. You need to put some relaxer or whoever. Even your, your spouse may not be happy with it, but you have to go back to the reason why you started. Why did I decide to go natural? Because that is what will sustain you because the critics will come. And I'm sorry, the critics may be people that are close to you or maybe your coworkers, but you have to stand your ground. Number six. Like I've said before, it may take some time to figure out your go-to style, but you have to be patient. It may take some time to figure out like your lazy style. This is my lazy style. My lazy style, um, since I've been natural, is I pull my hair back, like I put like a part in the middle of my head, and then I pull my hair back into a ponytail and do like a nice little cute bun. So that's the style that I wear when I just don't have time and I'm over it. It looks cute, it looks elegant. You could put like a little headband on. Now they have like some chic, really cute headbands that you know, are, you can match it up with your outfit and like jazz it up. So I'll put a headband on and, or I'll put like earrings, like nice dangling earrings, maybe like butterfly earrings, colorful, whatever. It looks really nice and then for me, I work out, I like to work out. So putting my hair back in a ponytail really helps me work during the week when I'm gonna work out. So I would put my hair back in the ponytail. Um, I would use the Curly Bell Miracle Scalp and Edge Treatment Gel, which really lays my edges down really good. And because it has biotin in it, it strengthens them too. So even though the ponytail is kind of a tension style, it, I try not to do it too tight and I put the edge gel, edge treatment gel on there so that it strengthens my edges. And I just, I wear that to the gym and it looks cute. I put on like some little diamond studs and you know, I'm good to go. Then I have another hairstyle, which is an updo style where I would use like my band. So this band that I got from Goody, I, I wore it on one of, um, if you follow us on YouTube, you'll see me with my hair up um, in like a updo kind of style. So check us out um, on YouTube. It's at the Terranic Show. So the at sign at the Terranic Show on YouTube. So you can see the video of this actual podcast. So I'll wear it up like that. I would twist, I'm gonna, I twist my, my hair in about, I don't know, maybe six or seven sections. And then I pin it down and then I can put my scarf around my hair and so it looks smooth and I'll wear that for a couple of days. When it's wash day, I usually just two strand twist my hair and those are like my go-to styles. I do not go to a hairstylist to get my hair done. If it's a special occasion, I have my go-to like twisted styles or if I want a protective style, I would go and get my hair um, box braided or I would go get my hair naturally braided. So, you know, I've established a rhythm. I've been natural since 2008. So for a while now, I've established a rhythm. Um, I also like to use flexi rods. So if I want my hair to be stretched out and look more bouncy and like have a curlier look, I'll use flexi rods and that lasts about two to three two to three days. So you'll have to figure out your go-to style. 
um, number seven, you may look totally different with relaxed hair versus natural hair. So, you know, your favorite cute outfit that you like to wear, you know, I don't know, a button down or a t-shirt or some earrings that you like to wear, they may not particularly look good like you did when you had your relaxed hair. So you may have to change up your wardrobe a bit or change up your your accessories like your, your earrings or your jewelry a bit because the things that looked good when you're relaxed may not look good to you when you're natural because you are so used to seeing, oh, these hoop earrings look so good when I had like my long weave or when I had my my hair in a, in a wrap style. Do people still wear the wrap style? Anyway, you may just, in, mentally, like you're programmed to think that, oh, I look so good when I have these hoop earrings in. And then you're like, I don't like how it looks when I have a TWA. So keep that in mind that your accessories or your clothes or your go-to outfit, you may have to change up your style a bit because in your mind, it may not look good. But the good thing is that you look, well, most people look totally different with straight hair versus natural hair. For me, for instance, I think I look terrible with straight hair now that I've been natural. Like when I had my hair straightened, I was like, who is this person? You look old, right? I think I look younger. And that's another thing. Natural hair kind of makes you look younger. It takes age off. Listen, it takes the age off. I'm telling you, curly hair takes age off. It makes you look younger. So that's something to keep in mind that you may look different with your natural hair versus your straight hair. And our last point, the last point, I think this is number seven, you can't be lazy with natural hair. You cannot be lazy because listen, wash days need to be planned, all right? You need to have a good, now that I'm a natural, I think I can wash my hair and twist it in about mm, 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes. Most people who have like thicker hair, they need an hour, they need two hours, they need an hour and a half, whatever. But you can't be lazy anymore when it comes to taking care of your hair. And natural hair needs more maintenance than straight hair. So you have to set a time where you're gonna wash shampoo, wash me in shampoo, and deep condition your hair. Cause you need to deep condition your hair when you have natural hair because it can get dry. And the reason why it gets drier than straight hair is because the sebum, the natural sebum that our scalp produces, cannot reach the ends of the hair like it would with straight hair. So with straight hair, when your scalp produces the natural sebum, the sebum is able to travel down the hair shaft easily because your hair is straight, right? When your hair is natural, it twines and curls and waves. So it's harder for that natural sebum, which jojoba oil is the only oil that acts like natural sebum. I don't know, random point. So I'd like to use jojoba oil on my hair. It can't travel down to the ends of the hair. And that's why the ends of the natural hair seem to be drier. So because of that, you have to condition your hair more than you would if you had relaxed hair. So you can't be lazy being natural because it will affect your hair. It'll show up in your hair by it looking dry, dull, breaking, brittle, whatever. So having natural hair is more work and you have to plan more, but it's so worth it. It's worth it because you will retain more hair as you get older, right? Because you're not putting chemicals in it. You're not putting chemicals in it. So it's not breaking, it's not being down, it's less likely to be damaged because your hair is in its natural state and it's able to withstand a lot more than if you were 
chemically changing the structure of the hair, which a relaxer does, which heat, like high heat does to the hair. So you can't be lazy, but the benefits are you will retain your hair. And like we say on the show, hair is a woman's crowning glory, right? So you will retain your hair. Not to say that if you don't have hair, then you don't have, you know, if you've had like issues with like chemo or if you have alopecia, not to say that, you know, you don't have glory. Of course, you are still beautiful. You are still beautiful with or without hair. So I don't want you to feel bad about, you know, losing your hair. We have op options for that. You know, there's always weave, wigs, or whatnot. You can still do that. Um, but to my point, you know, natural, there are a lot of benefits to wearing your natural hair. So do not be discouraged when you decide to go from relax to natural and you find out that, oh, no one told me it would be like this. Terry told you. I told you. Terry told you that it would be like this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of The Tyranique Show and just know that I told you what no one else will tell you when you decided to go natural. Have a blessed day.